Hey everyone, in this video we'll be looking at linear equation word problems that involve geometry. So these word problems are going to combine the algebra ideas that we've been working on with some basic facts about shapes that we already know, such as squares, rectangles, circles, triangles. As always with a word problem, really important that we have a well-defined let statement that's going to help us set up our equation that we're going to use to solve. So our first example, the length of a rectangle is 6 more than the width. If the perimeter of the rectangle is 32 feet, what are the dimensions of the rectangle? So we'll start by drawing a rectangle. So I usually start with a picture and then I work my way to a let statement for geometry type word problems. So it says the length of a rectangle is 6 more than the width. So I'm going to define the width as x, therefore the length would be x plus 6. So now I'm going to use that to turn it into my let statement. So we'll let x be equal to the width, and then x plus 6 is equal to the length. Now it says the perimeter of the rectangle is 32 feet. So we should know that the perimeter of a rectangle is the sum of all of its sides. And just in case we forgot a rectangle, these two sides are equal, so this would also be x. These two sides are equal, so this would be x plus 6 as well. So turning this into an equation, we have two sides, which are length x, plus the two sides that are length x plus 6, and that's going to be equal to 32 feet. Now this is just more condensed. If you want to sit and write x plus x plus x plus 6 plus x plus 6, you would come to the same equation. You would just have a little bit more writing. So let's start by distributing the 2, and I guess think about that. So we have 2x plus 2x plus 12 equals 32. On that left side, combine our like terms. So 4x plus 12 equals 32. And next, we're going to subtract 12 from both sides. That's going to give us 4x equals 20. Multiply both sides by 1 fourth. And that's going to give us x equals 5. Again, you can think about it as dividing by 4 on both sides, whichever you prefer. So now the question asks, what are the dimensions of the rectangle? So we want both the width and the length. So our width is going to be 5 feet. And our length is going to be 11 feet. So those are the dimensions. Always important with any word problem to go back and read and make sure you're giving the answer that they're looking for. Right? Maybe they were only looking for the length. right? And that also gets back to why it's so important that we have a well-defined let statement right? so that we don't forget in the process of solving, was x our length, was x our width? No, we just have to look back at our let statement and it's right there for us. Next question, the base of an isosceles triangle is four less than twice the length of, the, of one of the congruent sides. If the perimeter of the triangle is 44 feet, find the length of all three sides. So again, let's start with a picture to work our way to a let statement. So we have an isosceles triangle. Let's get rid of that little piece, okay. So if we recall an isosceles triangle, two sides are equal. So the base of the isosceles triangle is the side that's not equal to the other two. And it says that it is four less than twice the length of one of the congruent sides. So let's define one of the congruent sides as x, it means the other congruent side is also x. And then the base, four less than twice the length, so twice the length is 2x, Four less than that is minus 4. So we'll use that to define our let statement. So let x equal the congruent side, the length of the congruent side. We don't have to write out a complete sentence here as long as we know what we're referring to. And then 2x minus 4 is the length of the base. Okay, so the perimeter of the triangle is the sum of all three sides. 
So we have two sides that are length x plus one side that is length 2x minus 4. And they tell us that the perimeter of this triangle is 44 feet. So let's clean that up a little bit. So we have 2x plus 2x minus 4 equals 44. Combining like terms on the left-hand side, 4x minus 4 equals 44. A lot of fours in this equation. Now we're going to add 4 to both sides. We have 4x equals 48. Multiply both sides by 1 fourth. And we have x equals 12. Now it wants the length of all three sides. So we have the congruent sides whose measure is 12 feet. And then we have the base whose measure is 2 times 12, which is 24, minus 4, which is 20. So the dimensions of this triangle, two sides with length 12 and the base of length 20. So the sides of a pentagon are consecutive odd integers. If the perimeter is 85 meters, what is the length of the longest side? So we'll start by drawing a pentagon, which is a five-sided shape. So we have one, two, three, four, five. The sides are consecutive odd integers, so I'll we'll start at the small side, defining that x, and then we'd have x plus two, x plus four, x plus six, and x plus eight. So we've defined all five sides of the pentagon, so we'll use this to create our last statement. So we'll let x be equal to the first odd integer. Then x plus 2 would be the second odd integer. And then we have x plus 4 equals the third odd integer, but we'll skip that part. And then x plus 6 equals the fourth odd integer. And x plus 8 equals the fifth odd. I'll put the integer back in. Okay, so I chose to define the last statement this way instead of saying the smallest side and then the next side and the middle side, just to avoid some confusion because there's not just a smallest, a middle, and a large. So I chose to define it just based off the odd integers. And we understand each odd integer represents one side of the pentagon. So now the word problem tells us the perimeter is 85 meters. So the sum of all five sides. So we'll add them up. So we have x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4 plus x plus 6 plus x plus 8, and that's going to be equal to 85. So long equation, but it should simplify nicely. Combining all the terms on the left-hand side, we have 5x's plus 2 plus 4 is 6, plus 6 is 12, plus 8 is 20, and that equals 85, which is a nice straightforward equation. We can start by subtracting 20 on both sides. That leaves us with 5x equals 65. Multiply both sides by 1 fifth, or divide by 5. And we get x equals 13. Now, going back to read the problem, the question asks, what is the length of the longest side? So they don't want all five sides, just what the longest side is. So the longest side is represented by the largest odd integer, which is x plus 8. So 13 plus 8 is 21. So 21 meters is the length of the longest side. So again, 
In this case, it was advantageous for us to read. Instead of listing out five integers, we just had to state the largest of the odd integers. The length of a rectangle is three inches longer than the width. If the width is tripled and the length is increased by four inches, then the perimeter is 54 inches. What is the perimeter of the original rectangle? So in this question, they're starting by defining one shape, then they're manipulating that shape to create a new shape, giving us information about the new shape so that we can solve and then go back and give an answer about the original shape. Okay, so let's take this piece by piece. So that first shape, the length of the rectangle is three inches longer than the width. So let's draw a rectangle. So it says the length is three inches longer than the width. So let's define x as the width and x plus three is the length. And then it says the width is tripled and the length is increased by four inches. So now we have a new rectangle, not to scale. Width is tripled. So now the width is going to be three x, right? Triple the width and the length is increased by four inches. So that's going to be x plus three plus four, which is equal to x plus seven. Okay, so our let statement about that original rectangle, we're going to let x equal the width and x plus three equal the length. And then we have this information about this blue triangle, uh, blue rectangle rather. We don't need a less statement. We just need to use this to create the equation to go back and get an answer about that original rectangle. So again, rectangle, this side's x plus seven, so is this. And that side's three x, so is this. So it says the perimeter of this new rectangle is 54 inches. Okay, so that means two sides have length 3x plus two sides have length x plus 7 and that's going to be equal to 54. So let's solve this equation first. So we have 6x plus distributing the 2 plus 2x plus 14 equals 54. Combining our like terms that gives us 8x plus 14 equals 54. Subtract 14 from both sides. 8x equals 40. Multiply by 1 8 on both sides or divide by 8. And we get x equals 5. Okay, so we're able to use this blue rectangle and all the information about that blue rectangle to find our value of x. And that's important because now we can take that value of x and answer the original question, which is what is the perimeter of the original rectangle? Well, the dimensions of the original rectangle, x is 5, so this is 5, and that means the length, that's equal to 8, so we have two sides, which have a length of five, plus two sides, which have a length of eight. Those are the dimensions of the red rectangle. So that's going to be 10 plus 16. So we have a perimeter of 26 inches. Now, confusing to start, okay, because they're giving us information about two rectangles, but this is a good example where we have to separate the information within the word problem, break it down into smaller pieces, and use those pieces to complete the problem. Okay, so we looked at a couple of rectangle problems, a pentagon, a triangle. So now, practice more, see different types of these geometry word problems, and hopefully, through your last statements and all your work, you feel confident with this material.